computers. Primary control. sweet potatoes. This year I did uh, <clears throat> only one slip in each container. Last year I put two in each each container. These are about 18 inches and 24 inches across and that's too close together for sweet potatoes. A couple of them didn't turn out too bad but uh, most of them are really really small and skinny but these uh, did pretty well. I'm gonna harvest the, uh, I got two in small 12 inch containers that are really short. I'm gonna harvest those first to see what those look like. These are the 12 inch containers. Not nearly as much uh, vine growth as those big containers, which is you know, obviously uh, to be expected. But I'm not sure how much, you know, how many, how much sweet potatoes easily yield, we'll uh, dump them out and we'll see. That's more like it. When you harvest them, you wanna, wanna try to be careful to keep them whole. This is actually better than I thought better than I thought these would do. These were just two of the, two of the, I think four inch pots that I had from slips from last year. I just figured, you know, they already got well established roots. Might as well stick them in the dirt and see what God gives us. One thing about harvesting sweet potatoes is, uh, One, you want to do it before it frosts. If it frosts, the vines will send out a chemical into the roots that will ruin their storage life. So you want to, if it frosts overnight, you got to pay attention and pull them, start harvesting them as soon as possible. Get them all pulled out of the dirt. And you want to. You want to slack off from watering at least, uh, you know, depending on how warm it is where you're at when you harvest, at least a week or two prior to harvesting. That looks like about all those for, for now. Let's see what the other one has to offer. What's in here? That's what you want to avoid because that'll have to skin over. Whoa, that was huge. Try to just separate the dirt as much as possible. That's one of the mixed uh, mixed results about container gardening when you're doing any kind of uh, root, you know, tuber like potatoes or sweet potatoes you have to uh pretty much if the container is too big like those these 25 gallon containers are pretty unwieldy you pretty much need a hand truck and a <clears throat> get a good workout dumping them over <clears throat> and digging through all the dirt a present from the squirrels most likely anyway usually the blue jays don't bury them that deep I'm 
Blue Jays, I think the Blue Jays and Squirrels are mortal, mortal enemies. <clears throat> I don't know how the Blue Jays eat the peanuts though. Well, they sure like to steal them from the squirrels. Not a bad pile for a 12 inch pot. Was something that was gonna end up in the compost pile. Maybe we can have the energy to get one more massive container. It's gonna be a lot of work though. I've noticed in the containers they tend to grow kind of down and then out. So you can kind of dig around the outside edge and be relatively certain. I planted some chives in all these a lot of these so that's what these are. Planted a lot of chives in <laughs> A lot of them came up everywhere, but dig around the outside edge real carefully to uh, get down. Then once once you get to a sweet potato somewhere, then you probably want to start using your hands. Otherwise, you damage them. And if you break the skin, they need to skin over during the drying and curing process. <clears throat> so they uh, will store better. Found the first sweet potato. One thing to pay attention to is if you dig around and you see like a whole bunch of dirt moving that's not connected to your spade, like that, that's a sign that it's connected to something else, like a sweet potato. Well, this is definitely evidence that growing one slip in a container is the way to go. Well, that's not even all of them yet. Much better yield than last year. You want to be careful when you harvest them so you don't nick them too bad. But even if you do, they'll skin over and the cut ends will as well. These have been in a bag in the in the in the house for uh, I don't know whatever it is six months now something like that. They store pretty well. They're not exactly the prettiest thing, but they they store well and they uh, they're pretty good. Um, what else? Leave them dirty. Do not wash them. Just wipe, you know, let them dry and uh, wipe the dust off. You want you want to dry them in a a hot, ideally like 80 degree dry environment for at least two weeks. But if it's not that hot, then you got to let it go for about three or four weeks. Otherwise, if you put them away too early, they'll mold, and you do not want them to mold. So um, I think that's about it. Other than Growing food does not equal freedom. There is no freedom at all, whatsoever. There's only servitude. We'll have a choice who and what we serve. Growing food is great though, because it gives us a, a chance to uh, test our faith. <laughs> Control.